Hello there, I am John Quill with more Earthbound. In the last part, we went over to, uh, Scrabba Port Town. Uh, we got the secret number, uh, for, to get, uh, into, uh, to make a reservation to Club Stoic. And this will be actually a very short part because there's only a certain amount of things I want to do. I'm gonna say this part's gonna only be like five minutes or less, honestly. You know, let's talk to some people though. Uh, yeah, we're in the, uh, club, which is nice, okay. Uh, did actually, I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Did, uh, actually, steepy speaking, uh, seminal evidence seems to explicate the fact that your reputation is to employ supporters, um, uh, to, of employ supports my theory of space time synthesis. Of this, I am irritably confident. I think that's how you pronounce that word. You guys should in, uh, can't envision the final collapse of capitalism. Incredible. Hmm. I think it's very. It's a very complicated issue. Pause. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was sleeping. Talk to Mr. T. I think this is Mr. T. You don't understand what the hey everyone is talking about, do you? I don't either, but I th try to be patient with the customers. They pay high prices just for a glass of water and the chance to have serious intellectual discussions. Actually, it's an easy business. You want a drink? We only serve water, though. Okay. I, you know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's mysterious. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get the cake on my mind. There's only the only woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the um the absolute irony of and study of self identification is blah blah blah. I don't know what to do. Okay. And finally let's talk to you at the show. I'm it's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on stage and uh ph ph philosophize. Doesn't it sound stupid? Uh, I mean, it could be cool to some people. There's a stone, by the way, that she was talking about. It's up to you. I heard you have magic cake, whatnot. I'm finally awakened that I finally awakened the enemy, the true self. The patrons of this club are able to stare into uh, their warm so hard enough to burn a hole in their psyche. Um, I'm not comfortable. I'm now comfortable enough to stare to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into. Uh, my super ego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. My I my ID is telling me. I guess I think that's how you pronounce ID. It's it's just id, but without the apostrophe. So ID. What what magic cake? You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? Yes, I see. Okay. Well, why don't you stop by a little cart out of the beach later? Okay. She kind of just goes off and we just leaves the club. So we're gonna do the same thing. Let's take our upper offer. And as soon as we get out of the club, we um have to do this fight, I guess. Okay, PSI Rock and Beta. Uh, Paul can use PSI Freeze Gamma. Yeah. Okay, and then Jeff can shoot the crazy sign. Okay, didn't work on this. Awesome. Good. Yeah, the crazy stops stop moving. Awesome, nice. So hopefully this takes out the crazy taxi, or whatever it's called, the mad taxi. <laughs> the, max, the mad taxi is totally scrapped. Totally scrapped. We won. Nessun's friends gained 1,985 experience each. Cool. I think there's still another one. Yeah. Kind of just want, it kind of just drove up the stairs, trying to run over Ness and his friends. It's not very nice. Ness, Paul, and Jeff, I should say. Okay, let's use PC Rock and Beta. Bash and shoot. Yeah, there we go. It should we should be able to take it out in one turn, especially since no one's missing. That's good. Jeff kind of took the beating right there with 44 4 HP, I believe. Poor guy. Oh, is that Paul? I think it was Jeff though. Okay, bash, bash and shoot. Then it should be the last turn. 39 HP on Ness because he accelerated at him. It's not very nice. And once again, that one was totally scrapped. That mad taxi was totally scrapped. Ness and friends gained 779 experience each. Cool. Yeah, we're at like five minutes in real time. Uh, almost. Yeah, now we're at five minutes in real time. Recording time, I should say. Not in excluding like the um the if I have to edit anything out, like the beginning where I sync it, you know. So actually, here's um up here. If you go past here, uh, here's the lady again. I don't know who told you. You came that. You came from far off to just to eat some of my magic cake. 
Um, I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all of the I used all of the materials. This is a very special magic cake. Oh look, we. So she put something in that cake, you know. <laughs> She's trying to drug us. That's not very nice. We just Ness, Paul, and Jeff are just kids. They're just kids. Okay. Ness had a dream. It was a very, it was very queer and very strange. Ness had a dream. It was a very queer and very strange dream. There we go. I'm gonna end the part right here because, you know, something cool. I think something big. I should say something big will happen after this. Um, so yeah. So this was my Earthbound part. Next part will take on the dream. I guess if this is just a dream or we're all gonna experience next, it's gonna be big. So yeah, this has been Jungle again. I want to thank for checking. Goodbye, and I hope to see you guys next part of my Earthbound. Let's play.